Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry that I've been slacking on the uploads for the past week or two. Uh, just waiting on parts for my cars and unfortunately, things are taking a little longer to come than expected. Today I finally got a small package in the mail for the Miata, so we're going to be working on that today. Nothing crazy, but I've definitely been trying to black out, smoke out as much as I can of this car. Uh, obviously I'm going for a silver and black theme. So I'm going to be replacing all the reflectors and the uh, front lights and whatnot to uh, smoke out ones that I bought from uh, Depot Lights. I'll put a link in the description for that. So if you guys want to, you know, go buy and you like the way they look, you could go there. Uh, it includes the two front um, side markers, the rears, and then the front, um, I guess the turn signal markers um, under the actual headlights. So it includes all of those and it was like a hundred dollars shipped. So it's not too bad. So I'll leave the link down below. We're going to throw those on, just hang out. Quick little video with the car, uh, just so I can get some content out for you guys. Hopefully you like the way it looks. I think it'll look good with all the black accents that are on the car ready from, you know, the wheels to obviously uh, the interior is all black, you know, um, so we'll go along with that. I have more parts coming for this car, hopefully this coming week. And I have a few goodies coming from the Mini as well. So let's just hop right into it, put these on, see how it looks, and we'll go from there. So very smart me, forgot to bring out a knife or like a scissor. So I'm just going to use my Miata key to unbox these, which actually worked pretty well. So... Oh, and that's nice. It actually comes with bulbs too. So you'll get bulbs with it. So... Those, I'm not sure if those are the front or the rear. We'll find out shortly. So, okay, they look pretty nice actually. So, I'm not complaining there. More bulbs. And obviously these are going to be the fronts. Okay. And then we got the front lights. Awesome. Oh, these are really nice actually. So, re oh, these are a really nice piece. So that's going to look really, really good. And it comes with a harness connector obviously to connect to the car itself. So let's throw these on. So the only tool it really looks like you need to use is just a Phillips head and maybe a flathead to just pry these off uh, if they're stuck, but I feel like with just the Phillips head, this should be enough. Maybe it'll just pop right out, which would be really nice because then I don't have to do anything crazy. a longer screw than I thought. Okay, there's one. It looks like this is going to be able to just pop out by itself, which is really nice. I don't have to do any prying or anything annoying. Yeah, literally just falls right out. Okay, so I'm just going to do this side and the other side, and then I'll come back with you guys, show you how they look with the smoked ones on. And actually, these are really nice guys, and they come with new screws. This is all sealed up so no dirt gets inside of the actual lens itself. And it comes with nice new uh, red bulbs instead of the clear ones. So I'm just going to switch these out, put them on, and then see how it looks. All right, guys. So these look absolutely amazing. Like, these are sick. They are not too dark. They're nice smoked, like, gray ish clear. I don't even know how to explain them, but they're super nice. These are the old ones. They, they were just eaten alive they were destroyed they have like paint on them it looks like somebody sprayed over them so these were these were done so these look way better the other side's already done as well so i'm just gonna move to the front to do the front side markers and then move to the front lights which i really want to see what that's gonna look like so i will regroup with you guys in a couple of minutes all right guys so the front side markers are in they look amazing now the biggest difference is going to be and these fronts right here, as you can see, they're all worn out. There's a lot of like debris and stuff behind the reflector and plus, not this side, but if you look at this side, it's all cracked up, like right here, it's destroyed. So 
I know this is going to make the biggest difference, but uh, we have both sides on in the front and the rear. Now we're just going to finish these lights up and then see how it looks overall. I know that these are going to make the biggest difference though because these are disgusting. They're faded. There's dirt all behind them. And like I said, since it's cracked, I mean, these look horrible. This was one of the first mods I wanted to do with this car due to everything being all like disgusting. So well, let me get those on and then we'll see how it looks. Oh my God, does this look 100 times better, guys? So we went from this to this. This looks so good against the paint of the car. So I'm gonna throw the other side on, but I'm loving the way this looks. It's super nice. It feels actually pretty good quality as well. So I'm super happy with the way this looks. I mean, like I said, going from this to that. So big difference. I highly recommend getting this if you guys want like a smoked out like side marker, front marker look. So definitely recommend it. All right guys, so this looks absolutely amazing. And the awesome thing too, is that these lights also come with a new harness to connect to the connector in the car. As you can see, this is the old one with the old bulb. So it even gives you new harnesses for the front turn signal markers here. So this old, like, you know, this is all crusty and the bulb was blown out. And so you get new hardware for that. New bulb it comes with, new harness, which is really nice. But guys, this is what it looks like. I mean, don't mind the oil stand there, but. So it looks amazing. And then this is the rear. So guys, if you're debating, I mean, if you don't know if they're going to look good on your Miata, Honestly, like no matter what color you have, they're most likely going to look good, especially on silver or white, even red. These smoked out markers look fantastic. Let me just make sure that the actual turn signals work. Well, I'll just put on the emergency lights just to make sure. To make sure that everything is working. Yep, so those are working as you can see and they look really nice and they're gonna be very bright in the nighttime. I might even do some LEDs for those bulbs actually, which would look really nice. I'm actually debating it. So, um, but yeah guys, this is what it looks like. So let me know what you think. I think it looks amazing. And for the price, you really can't beat it. So. So to conclude the video guys, we're back in the car the side markers, the front turn signal light markers, they look so good. And of course the rear, they look so good. Again, I will leave the link to the product in the uh, description down below, just in case you guys wanna grab yourself a set. Like I said, they're about, I think 100 or $120 shipped, something like that, I don't remember. I ordered these lights about like three weeks ago and they just came in uh, yesterday. So I'm putting them in today. Um, so yeah, um, I love the way they look. Uh, the lights are super bright. I know it's gonna look good um, at nighttime when you're using like your blinkers and whatnot, but uh, the smoked out look, you know, it's really nice, especially against the silver. And since I'm doing black accents all around the car to complement the silver, they really pop. And those side markers and the front um, turn signal markers are gonna look really good with something I have coming for this car very soon, hopefully within the next week. It's coming from the UK, so it is taking a little longer. I did order it about maybe two weeks ago and they were made to order. Um, so hopefully they'll be here within the next week or two so I can throw them on just so you guys can see what's coming. And it's really gonna accent that really nicely. But guys, I'm still waiting on a lot of parts, unfortunately. I'm still waiting on my suspension. I still haven't gotten that in yet for this car. So it kind of sucks. I ordered the suspension almost three weeks ago now and it still hasn't come in yet, which again, it sucks. I still haven't gotten my plugs and my wires yet in the mail. I'm about to cancel that. I've gone back and forth with uh, the company that I ordered it from. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if they didn't have them in stock or whatnot, but I still haven't gotten that. Uh, it's been over a month, so I don't know what's going on with that. And I still haven't gotten my shift the rebuild kit for this car. I'm actually like, as we speak about to cancel that because it's been ridiculous. I've talked to the people, mind you, I didn't get like a high end shift the rebuild kit. I think I bought it on like eBay. Was it eBay or Amazon? I don't remember. Like I said, this was like over a month ago. So I really don't remember. Um, but I'm about to go into my emails and find where I got it from and just get a refund because it's been over a month now and I still have not gotten anything in. So I'm just kind of tired of it. Um, 
I might just order that in the future when things like regulate, even though thank God things are regulating now. But I don't want to drag this video on. I just wanted to make a quick video installing the lights. Let me know what you think. Again, I'm going to put the description down below. As you can see, it's a big difference. And let me show you guys one more time what I started out with. Just as a reference. So this is what I had in the rear. And now this is what we got. So we went from this old piece to this. We went from this, that, and we went from this, especially this one, because this one's all cracked and destroyed. So we went from this destroyed old yellow dirty piece to a really nice smoked out piece. So yeah, guys. Again, let me know what you think. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching another video. I know this wasn't the most entertaining video. I'm really trying to get some content. I really want to put out two videos a week for you guys. And it's kind of hard, like I said, when I don't have the stuff that I need to install for these cars. Like I really, you know, I have a lot of videos lined up for my Miata, for this, and even for the wagon. Obviously, guys, don't forget I have a wagon, my uh, TDI Sport Wagon. I have a couple of plans for that coming soon. Hopefully, once these uh, two cars, the Miata and the Mini, get more stuff onto them. But um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you, hopefully you like the way the car looks. Um, again, product's going to be down below. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing an okay job. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.